So really, how did you get started shooting food photos? Well, I mean, food photography was something that kind of just emerged naturally out of the fact that I'm really myopic. I like to be close to my subjects. So every time I would take a picture of people, it would just kind of fill the whole frame with somebody's face. So I got really comfortable shooting that way. So somebody suggested to me, you like being really close to, the, to your subject, why don't you shoot food? And I took a couple of assignments that way and it kind of just built and then I stopped taking pictures of people. Oh, that's funny. So, <laughs> but I mean, food um, photography, from my perspective, is very different than it would be for the app user. But the other half of my career is as an instructor um, where 90% of the people I talk to or who come to me for advice are people who are just trying to participate in social media, whether it be blogging or Twitter, Instagram, now Fork. You know, that's, that's kind of their motivation is how can they take better pictures with the equipment that they have. And my job essentially becomes as the kind of chief encourager to teach people how to do that, to let them know that it's okay to do that. Because if, if somebody with my background making a living taking pictures of food is telling you, go out there, make pictures of food, regardless of where you use them, you know, because if it's, that's what you're passionate about, that's what you should do. And you should participate in, in any way you want to and not be self-conscious about it. Then that's, that's the other half of what I do. And my background before I was a photographer was as a teacher. So kind of put those two things together in two different parts of my life now and being able to kind of support Mark and what he's doing and being able to support uh, another kind of uh, entity that's encouraging people to participate with their food, I'm really happy to support that. So that's great. Thank yeah. you. So you do, I mean, hours long, probably days long courses on food photography. It is a very mm -hmm. complex and a very difficult um, task or or passion or obviously career. I, I know Lauren and Scott and I discovered um, firsthand just how difficult it is to take good food photos as we went, we're developing this app. Um, but here's the soundbite moment. You know, if there's one thing, if there's only one thing someone with a smartphone can do to take better photos of food, what would that be? Be conscious of the light you're in. Okay. I think when you are, the better light you're in, the better opportunity is to compose a good picture because I think one of the primary problems that a lot of people have is they try to shoot in low light without the right equipment to shoot in low light and then the, the picture doesn't come out looking appetizing. So when you pick and choose your opportunities to make good pictures, because if you're in daylight or you have a brighter room to shoot mm -hmm. in, then you're gonna make better pictures. I think the, the primary problem is not composition. Most of the time, it's lighting. So that would be, okay. be mindful of your lighting. <laughs>